to my channel. For today's video, we have another declutter. If you are new here, my name is Natalie. I post two to three videos a week all about makeup and beauty. If you like what you see here today, I hope you will consider subscribing before you leave. But why don't we get started? So like I say, this video is another declutter. I think the last one of these that I did was in the spring and I am trying to do a declutter each season. So my box appeared like it was full enough so I thought I would go over the products I'm getting rid of. The first one I'm going to mention is this foundation from Maybelline. This is the Dream Satin Liquid Foundation and Hydrating Serum. This one I know I definitely haven't mentioned in an everyday makeup drawer because this one I actually decluttered as part of my last video which was going over a haul from July 2018. I pulled this product out as part of that haul. I completely forgot that I even had it in my collection anymore. I don't even really remember purchasing it or using it very much. Like I said, I do have everyday makeup drawer videos on my channel. I think I've been doing them for around about 18 months at this point. I don't even know if this product has featured in any of them. And if it has, it was way back at the very beginning. So. Clearly this product hasn't been missed because I've just not wanted to even reach for it. So I think it's time to call it a day. Plus the fact that I did purchase it in July 2018. So it's already three years old and it doesn't even look like I've touched it. The next product I'm getting rid of is this eyeshadow from The Balm. This is Petal to the Metal Fava Vroom Cream Eyeshadow. This one is in the shade Shift into Overdrive. I think I got this as part of a subscription box. I'm not a fan of cream products generally when it comes to eyeshadows or blushes or bronzers or anything like that. I do prefer powder. So I wasn't really expecting much with this to be honest anyway. But I just found this to be such a kind of lacklustre shade. I'll give it a little swatch now. And actually, this hasn't been decluttered for that long. It's been shut and in a sealed box and this already feels like it is drying out. So that is it there on my finger. And then I don't know how well that's going to show up on the back of my hand at all. It just, yeah, it just didn't look great. If I put it on top of another shadow, it just get completely lost. Even if I went in with just this all over my lid, you couldn't really see it. Just very disappointing and there was no point keeping it in my collection. Next, I'm getting rid of this lip product from Physicians Formula. This is one of their butter lipsticks and this one is in the shade Morven to Brazil. I did get this as part of a holiday set that was on sale not that long ago to be honest but this lipstick has actually gone bad. I do believe that lipstick came as a set of three and then I did already have one in my collection and the other three that I have still appear to be fine. There's no issues with them at all but this one just started smelling really bad. They do have a sweet kind of butter scent to them normally but this one just smells like the typical plastic play-doh kind of not great smell so I knew that this one had gone off. Strange that the others haven't but I didn't want to risk it with this one so that's why I have decluttered this. Next product I'm getting rid of is this mini lipstick from Givenchy. This one is in the shade 202 and is a very bright kind of hot pink. I do believe this might actually be a tinted lip balm but it is quite tinted. It does come up quite pink on the lips which I'm not a huge fan of. This was one that I just never found myself reaching for it very much. I did have it in my everyday makeup drawer at one point, but I was quite self-conscious wearing it in case I ended up on an impromptu Zoom call and I had bright pink lips. I then put it in my Shop My Stash skincare drawer to use of a night, but it just wasn't moisturising enough. So there was no point keeping hold of it if I wasn't reaching for it, even though it is kind of hard to part with something from Givenchy Beauty because I felt quite bougie having that in my collection. Then I'm getting rid of this eye pencil from Kiko Milano. This is one of their smart colour eye pencils in the shade 02 which is a kind of nude pearlescent white type shade. This is another one that was featured in my recent July 2018 haul because that's when I purchased it. I haven't reached for it in a long time because it's not a great pencil. You do have to kind of go over and over and over in your waterline to even remotely see something and even then it just kind of catches the light slightly it doesn't make you look any more awake or anything like that so it wasn't a great pencil and that's why I'm getting rid. Then I'm getting rid of this mascara from Essence this is the Bye Bye Panda Eyes smudge proof volumizing and defining mascara. I personally don't feel like it did anything that it claims it does. This one smudged on me it gave me panda eyes it wasn't very volumizing and it wasn't very defining. I found that this one gave me a little bit of length but after not long wearing it, it did start to flake slightly. 
if I even remotely touched my eyes, it would smudge and I would have panda eyes. This was a product that I think I purchased at a time when I made a duplicate order for some reason on Just My Look. So I do believe I have another one of these floating around in my collection. I don't know whether to just pass that one on or to possibly give that a go. I've had it for a little while now, so perhaps I don't feel so safe passing it on. Don't know whether I should perhaps give that one a go in case this was just a dud tube because for it to not do a single thing that it claims to do seems not right. So I may give that other tube that I have a go just before I completely write this off, but this one is definitely being decluttered because it doesn't tick any boxes at all. Then I'm getting rid of this toner from Le Cura. This is the Healthy Glow Exfoliating Toner. This is supposed to be a dupe for the one from Pixie, which I think is called the Glow Tonic. This is an okay toner. I feel like it does do something to your skin. It's not too harsh on the skin, but I feel like this one went bad on me. It never did have the best kind of scent to it. It was sort of that old lady scent, but mixed with something else. But I feel like the smell got slightly worse the last time I used it and I have had it open for quite some time. So I think it did just go bad. I did have it in a previous project pan and did try to finish it up as much as I could, but I just didn't enjoy reaching for it in the end. So I think that's time to call that a day. Another toner type product that I'm getting rid of is this one from Galany. This is the face vinegar. This one is supposed to tone, soothe and brighten with prebiotics and postbiotics. This is something that I got in an advent calendar from Holland and Barrett. I had never heard of the name face vinegar before. The first time I used it, it wasn't too bad of a product. I wasn't going in with much of the product because I was kind of just testing the water with it. I feel like it was quite effective on the skin. I did feel like it was doing something. The next time I used it, I think I got a little bit cocky and went in with too much. And that's when I could smell the vinegar. And after that one time of using a little bit too much, I couldn't get the smell of vinegar out of my nose whenever I used it. And it did put me off in that respect. Like I say, it did feel nice on the skin. I feel like it did do something, but I just didn't really want to put vinegar on my face. And I didn't believe that it was actual vinegar until I went in with too much product. So yeah, another one that I just needed to declutter. Then I'm getting rid of my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. This is a product that I know is going to be an unpopular opinion because so many people swear by the setting mist and absolutely love it. I've never been a fan since day one, but because so many people like it, I kept giving it chance after chance after chance. And I found it in my drawer recently and realized I couldn't remember the last time I had actually used it. The main setting spray that I use when I remember to reach for one is the Continuous Setting Mist from Morphe. And I do much prefer that one. The few times that I used this on a day when I was planning to wear my makeup for the whole time, I felt like it did an okay job at making my makeup stick around, but no better than the one from Morphe. I think one of the main reasons why I didn't like it is I'm not a huge fan of the scent of this. I never see people say anything about the scent or say anything bad about it, but for me, it just smells terrible and I don't want to be spraying that on my face. Because it isn't a cheap product, I felt like it was a waste getting rid of it so long ago because... This is probably still half, if not kind of three quarters full. But I did start trying to use this on spraying my brush if I wanted to go in with more of a forward eyeshadow or something. But even then I didn't end up reaching for it and would just reach for an unscented one that I have from e.l.f. Just ends up getting pushed further and further to the back of the drawer. I think I was pulling out dry shampoo or something a couple of weeks ago and stumbled across it and decided I'd forgotten it was here. I've clearly not thought about it to reach for it. So it was time to declutter it and this is one I'm probably just going to pass on to a friend who I know will make good use out of it. Then I'm decluttering this lip oil from Barry M. This is the Lip Rehab Nourishing Lip Mask. This is a rose scented product. I'm not a fan of anything that is rose scented. It's not too overpowering of a rose scent. This was a similar experience with the face vinegar. One time I went in with a little bit too much of the product and I could taste it, I could smell it. It wasn't good and then ever since then I just don't want to reach for it so I'm going to declutter this one as well. I feel like I did give it a good go. It's probably about half empty but yeah it's time to call it a day. Another lip another lip treatment that I'm getting rid of is this one from number seven. This is the Protect and Perfect Lip Care. This one is a bit of a weird product. It comes out almost like a kind of cream consistency. But once you rub it into your lips, it basically goes to nothing and then your lips just sort of feel like velvety soft. And I just didn't seem to like it. 
I think it might be a nice product to possibly use in the day under maybe a more drying lipstick or something like that because it, I don't think it would ever interfere with the lipstick because it effectively goes down to nothing. So it is making your lips feel a bit softer but I just didn't like the way that they felt and because I was using this as a night lip mask it just wasn't giving me as much moisture and lip care that I wanted and I know I would not get around to using this in the day I just never remember to reach for it so I decided to decut this one too. Then I'm getting rid of a couple of lipsticks from Colourpop these are both their Lux liquid lipstick formula. This one is in the shade Air Kiss and this one is in the shade Keep It Coy. This one is such a pale pink that is so close to my lip colour you can't even see when I have this one on. This is another product that when applied it is sort of a velvety touch to the lips but because of the shade it just literally looks like I have nothing on I might as well have put a clear lip balm on it just did absolutely nothing for me at all so I just didn't enjoy reaching for this one. I do like the formula because it is nice and comfortable it is just pretty much the shade. I do have a couple of other of these in my collection which were from the Disney designer collection I think I have Belle and oh no it's not Belle sorry I think it's Beast and then Flynn they are slightly deeper shades so you can see them on the lips whereas I say this one it literally looked like I had nothing on so there was no point even applying it and then this one is quite a bright almost ready coral type shade which I didn't feel very comfortable wearing I didn't feel like it applied evenly it was slightly patchy on the lips and it didn't wear down gracefully either so another one that the formula is nice but I just didn't love the shade few other lip products so I'm just going to keep going with them. The next one is this gloss from Tarte. This one is in the shade Sundress. I do quite like this Tarte formula of gloss. It is on the slightly sticky side and I have got glosses that I like more now but this was one of the first glosses that kind of got me back into lip gloss so I do like the formula. It's just definitely not an all-time favourite. This is another one where it's the shade that let this one down. It is such a light nude shade that it just didn't look nice on the lips at all and this is one that I feel like I've had open for quite some time as well so I feel like this is slightly more gloopy than some of the other ones that I have so perhaps this one was going out of date as well. Then we have another lip oil this one is from Q&A this is the licorice lip oil. This one doesn't smell too strongly of licorice you can smell it and kind of taste it ever so slightly. I'm not the world's biggest fan of licorice I don't hate it like I will kind of eat licorice all sorts at Christmas but it's not a kind of sweet that I tend to go for, licorice sweets. So I didn't love that aspect of it, but I just didn't really like how this felt. I did have a rollerball applicator, and I feel like I could have done with the rollerball sticking out a little bit more, because whenever I would apply it, I would keep catching my lip on the plastic bit, so that wasn't the best. And then I don't feel like it was overly moisturising on my lips. My lips would feel dry the next day, if anything, so I just didn't love this one. And then the final lip product I'm getting rid of is this lip balm from Carmex. This is the Peach and Mango Burst. This one smells absolutely amazing. I do love that aspect of it. it the scent of this one does remind me of some chewing gum that I used to have a lot when I was younger. So I did like that aspect of it, but I just wasn't a huge fan of the actual lip balm itself or the applicator. So it is one that you just squeeze out the end. So it was a case of either trying to rub it on with that or use my finger. And it was a little bit too thick of a formula. So I just didn't really like how it felt. Again, another product that I didn't feel like it overly moisturised my lips. I don't tend to remember to apply lip balms of a day because I'm normally putting some kind of lip colour or something else on. So it is more of a night. And of a night, I do want something that is more hydrating. I did have a good go with this and I don't feel like there's much left in here at all. I have also had this open for a really long time so I thought I'd best just to cutter it. Then we have this face wash from Evelyn and Rose. This is the Soft Touch Face Foam. It is again another rose scented product which like I said I don't like at all and this one is quite heavily scented. This isn't even the best cleanser either. I didn't feel like it foamed my face at all considering it says face foam. I didn't feel like my skin felt overly clean after using it so it wasn't as good enough of a cleanser to keep it around to kind of put up with the rose scent so I just decided to call it a day with this one too. Then we have this eye cream from Boots. This is the Vitamin C Brightening Eye Gel. It says brighter looking skin within 14 days, nourishes skin and reduces the appearance of dark circles. This was just an okay eye cream. It felt nice when applying it but I didn't notice anything to do with my dark circles or any brightening or anything and because it does say within 14 days 
this was a product that I did use over a couple of months and I did use it for the more than 14 days but I just didn't notice anything. I did keep it around for a while because I did quite enjoy applying it. I have so many eye creams in my collection I just didn't really need to keep this one around. Then we have this moisturiser from Bye Bye Beauty. This is the Night Nutrition Protein Night Cream. I wasn't a fan of this one at all and I did try my best to make it work for me because it wasn't a cheap product. I didn't like how this felt on the skin. I feel like it's quite a greasy formula and it did take a while to blend in. It was also a product that I would have to be careful what serums and things I was pairing it with because it didn't always work well with others. Another product that I didn't really like the scent of it. I couldn't put my finger on what the scent was. It was kind of like it was trying to be sweet or fruity but it smelled slightly like bad fruits like when strawberries are on the turn and starting to go off it, it sort of smelled like that if you, if you can get what I mean with that so it just wasn't a fantastic product I did give it a really good go because it wasn't cheap but in the end I decided it's quite heavy packaging it's quite bulky I wasn't enjoying using it if you've seen my shop my stash skincare drawers you will know I have enough skincare to be getting on with I don't need to keep products around that I don't enjoy using Another moisturiser is this one from Kate Somerville. This is the Goat Milk Moisturising Cream. Again, another one that I did give a really good go to, but I just didn't enjoy using it. It is, as the name would suggest, a milky-like consistency. I don't know if I'll be able to show you properly. So it is <laughs> nearly poured everywhere. It is a very runny moisturiser, so it is quite hard to blend into the skin. I did think being a thinner consistency, it would blend in quite easily. But I felt like sometimes it would just sit on top of the skin and not completely blend in. It does say it's a moisturising product and it is a bit moisturising but nothing to kind of write home about. The product where again I have so many moisturisers in my collection that I enjoy using so much more than this. That are so much more moisturising than this. There was no point keeping hold of it. This was a product that I think I got in a FabFitFun box and I don't think it is a cheap product. So this one was quite hard to let go of. But the last time I had it in my shop, my stash skincare drawer, I was having to force myself to use it. So I decided at the end of that to call it a day. Then we have this moisturiser from Willada. This is the Skin Food Rich Intensive Skincare. This was one that I think I had in my shop, my stash skincare drawer not that long ago. And is another product that with it only being a mini, I was frustrated to not completely use this one up. But I just didn't enjoy it. This was a really greasy consistency of a moisturiser. It didn't blend into the skin very well. It didn't play well with others. And I also wasn't a fan of the scent of this one. So I just decided to call it a day because I didn't enjoy it. And I am definitely trying to be more brutal when it comes to decluttering my skincare because I have so much to go through. Lastly, we just have a couple of eye pencils, which I've had in my collection for so long. This one is from Colour Trend, which is... I think it's technically like the teen brand of Avon. This is one of their Kajal sticks in the shade Black Attract. I don't know how long I've had this in my collection, but since I've properly got into makeup, I haven't purchased anything from Avon. I did used to order a lot of my makeup from Avon. So this is, I'm going to say, at least five years old at this point. And as you can see, it's not been used. I did have a brown pencil liner from Colour Trend in my collection for the longest time. It was my go-to inner waterline eye pencil. I probably actually still do have that and that one's embarrassingly old, but it was great and I never found that perfect shade of brown to go in my waterline. I do much prefer brown to black, but because I already had that brown one, I think that's why I purchased a black one because I really like the formula of the brown one. But this was a reformulated one it wasn't the same it was too dark and i just didn't enjoy it and i did actually find this in the bottom of a drawer so yeah time to put this one in the bin then we have this one from lord and berry this is the couture cole kajal eye pencil this one is in the shade 101 deep black because of the size of these eye pencils i couldn't store them with the rest of my eyeliners so they did get neglected this was an okay eyeliner it was decently black it was decently long lasting in the waterline but the main reason why I am kind of decluttering it is because it's not a favourite. I do have ones that I prefer much more. Like the one from Milani stays in place a lot better than this one. And I can easily store that one. So because I had to store this somewhere else, I just would never remember to reach for it. I think I got this in a subscription box a long time ago. Might even be going back to kind of birch box days, which 
I think are at the very beginning of me having a YouTube channel. So it is definitely older in my collection. And because it is a product I am putting in my waterline, it's a little bit too close to my eye for comfort. Time's quite a day with this one too. So that's everything that I've decluttered from my collection recently. I feel better now. I've had the cleanse. I've gone through everything. My box is empty again. I no doubt it won't be too long before it's filled again. Just because I forgot to mention at the beginning, I do have a giveaway live on my channel, which will be linked in the description box below. But other than that, that is it for today's video. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. Thanks.